What is up everybody? Welcome back. Today we have the Cadillac Lyric here. I've seen it in passing and I've kind of, if you've been following the channel, you know I kind of marked it up to it's great, but it's still so far away. But let me tell you, seeing this, I would probably trade my Tesla like that because the quality I've seen in this is insane. A hundred uh, plus battery pack, kilowatt hour battery pack loaded in this thing, getting uh, over 300 miles of range. Plus it starts at $62,000. In perspective, you'd compare that to something like the Tesla Model X probably because that's what I'm driving now. So it's easy to kind of do apples to apples to that. And just features wise, massaging seats. You've got everything. We're gonna take a look at that today. Let's look at the Cadillac Lyric. Let's check it out. Thank you to Showspan for setting us up here today. We have so many uh, EV reviews coming your way. I'm so excited. So if this is the first one you see, be sure to click all the all the links in the channel. We have, uh, I'm trying to think of all the great ones. We have some Mach-E reviews coming. We have a hybrid plug-in Maserati that we're gonna take a look at. Of course, we're gonna look at the Ford Lightning again. Uh, so many, so be sure to go through the page, find one you like, and uh, there's a ton. I'm so excited about all the cars we have access to today. And another thanks to Showspan and the Grand Rapids Auto Show for, for just letting us have access to all these vehicles. Today we are at Cadillac's booth looking at the Lyric. Okay, we're gonna take a look at the charge port in a little bit later, but what we have is a very cool door opening system. We're just gonna tap the door handle, very similar to a Model X if you're familiar with that. It just slightly opens though, which is a small touch that's actually really smart. If you're familiar with the Model X, I know I'm gonna keep comparing it to that, it actually opens all the way, but that leads to tons of errors. I have just had a nightmare with mine where it'll open, I try to close it, it goes halfway, it goes halfway. This is smarter, it's just a button, it slightly opens, then you grab a handle here to fully open it up, which is great, and then I believe you just shut it like a normal door. Back here, if you wanna follow me, Alex, Similarly, we have a button, and then I believe you'd grab, there's a rubberized handle in here, and you are able to open it up. Okay, so sitting in the back seat now, we have, the first thing that pops in my mind is attention to detail. It looks, I mean, you'd expect that from a Cadillac, but you have very, uh, a variation of touches, a variation of materials. It's something that manufacturers are switching to that I really appreciate. It shows me that thought went into the design, that there's a little more than just a rubber panel or a leather panel. There's actually layers to it. It's gorgeous in here. It really is. And it's a 19 speaker system. Uh, like I mentioned, the massaging seats, the heated seats, the cooled seats, all of those are standard just at that 62K price range. Now, hopefully that price remains the same for when more people can start to order this thing. But if it stood on a lot as is right now, you bet I'd be in line to buy this. All right, we are in the front seat of the Cadillac Lyric. I'm just so excited to finally get behind the wheel of one of these things. I know we're not driving it today, but the experience here is really selling me. I hope I'm not overselling this, but I am just truly blown away at the price point. They should, don't tell Cadillac, but I think they should be charging at least like 80K for this thing. The gorgeous panoramic moonroof, I'll give you a shot of that later. Um, but the design in here, the look at this, the sturdy handles. You can't see it, but again, I'll show you it later. And this gorgeous, gorgeous 32 inch, I, I might be wrong there, but I'm pretty sure it's a 32 inch Una display. Again, I don't know the exact marketing terms there, but it's one giant screen across showing you everything you need. A great touch. If your vehicle has this, you know what I'm talking about. It's the display uh, of a Google map on your dash cluster. It's a small touch, but when you're driving and you're not having to look at your phone, you're not having to look at even the side screen, it helps you focus on the road and really just tell where you're going. And, and not having to second guess or having your passenger play, hey, wait, 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 you missed your turn. Oh, wait, where am I supposed to go? You don't have to deal with any of that stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, moving on. Another thing Cadillac did very well is a great introduction of buttons instead of just all touch displays. So many EVs now are moving to a, uh, I guess you'd call it a strictly digital sort of feel. So when you're changing the climate control, everything's on the screen. It's not the case with this Cadillac. 
We have our temperature controls right here where we can go make it a little warmer, make it a little colder. We have uh, face versus feet. We have our auto uh, defrost. Everything is here and easily accessible with buttons. It's a small thing, but it's definitely worth noticing. And then you want to talk about king of the road. You want to talk about being in a Cadillac. Alex, would you mind putting the camera right here and getting a shot of this? If this doesn't feel like luxury, I don't know what does. It's a gorgeous gear selector, and it just makes you feel like um, you feel like the king of the road. You feel like a modern day Elvis. That's the only thing I could think of. You got shortcut buttons here, navigation. Look at how quickly that popped up. You can go to phone settings. You can go home. Uh, one other thing I'm going to quickly show you is opening up this dash cluster. A good way to store your phone, keep it out of the way while you're driving. Little things like that are, are the best because more and more uh, people need to learn to not be on their phones while they're driving. We'll close that back up. And then the last thing we'll show you is actually where your phone's supposed to go. Let me uh, find the actual button here. Oh, ha, there's no button. You just lift up here and you've got a view, and you put your phone in here, this is actually your wireless charger, which is pretty great. And we'll close that back up. We have USB-C, we have another USB-C port down here, so you are set when it comes to technology. Um, yeah, I think that's it for the inside. All right, so that just about does it here with the Cadillac Lyric, again, um, exceeded my expectations. I've probably talked about this a decent amount on the channel, but I've never actually had it in front of me. And now that I've seen it, I give it a thumbs up for sure. Obviously, I didn't get to drive it today. But so one thing before we go, we got a co cool tour of uh, the light pattern that does when you lock and unlock this vehicle. It's very cool. So let's take a quick look at that. Now we're ready to wrap it up here. This has been the Cadillac Lyric. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. I know just enough about this vehicle to answer half of your questions probably, not all of them. Um, anyways, I really appreciate you guys watching this. Go to all the links. Like I said earlier in this video, we have so much, um, so many car reviews coming out of the auto show this year and I can't wait to have you guys watch them all. So they're all linked below in the description or on the channel, you guys know where to find it. Thank you guys for watching this one and hopefully I see you very soon. Thank you, bye.